through. Slam. Oh, there it is. Passing forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nome is back. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you how to defeat Overlord by just punches. Yes, guys, punches. I've been seeing those comments. Request Gamer Nome defeat Beast Titan, defeat Inferno Boss with just punches. So I decided to do it with Overlord. Yes, the final boss of Chapter 2. And also, I'm gonna show you how to finish all the quests. I know that the game is bugged right now, but I found a way to finish it and get the badge. See that? I already own it. So let's go. First off, we're gonna clear this chapter. I mean this dungeon. And defeat Overlord with just punches. Guys, I'm gonna make it faster. For the mobs, I'm gonna use my best strategy. Uh, again, Kurama Bloodline. But again, I'm gonna defeat Overlord with just punches. Punches. So are you ready guys? Let's go. So we are already inside the dungeon. For my champion, I'm using Mark of the Phoenix Y because there are some uh, lapses sometimes. I forgot to push a button and my character falls down. So this is just for uh, emergency purposes like when my HP goes really low. Marco will heal our character. Okay, so oh by the way, one of the skills, I've already unlocked two skills of Overlord. That's one, the uh, Awakened or Full Power Fallen Down. Uh, correct me guys, I forgot the name. See that guys? Just one combo off to the other mob. Again, I told you I'm gonna defeat Overlord with just punches and this is not over Overlord. These are the mobs, so I'm gonna finish it fast. There you go. Boom. Okay. Okay. Done. Guys, another tip. Don't try to defeat them all at once. Lure some. And after that, defeat the other side. Because sometimes, if you make a mistake, and your character falls down, you will surely die, even if you have Marco. I've tried Itachi. But I, uh, there's no time to activate the golden aura wherein you get uh, become immortal for 8 seconds. No, it, that won't do. Okay, but <laughs> as you can see, I'm luring them all because I've practiced it lots of times. So. But if you've already practiced, then you can do it, guys, to make things faster. So we've already hit the 3-minute mark of this video. I think we've already uh, spent like 1 minute in this part, right? 1 minute, 2 minutes? I don't know. So in this scene, you know, we're walking, we're walking. I should have been greedier here, like advanced, like one hit combo all of the mobs in this area, but uh, during this time, I'm kinda, oh no, I should have lured them all. <laughs> okay. Guys, for my uh, skills, make sure that you equip the, the Kurama, Kurama, uh, what do you call this, Kurama skills. Because those skills has a cast time and will make you stay up in the air for a long time. Okay? Okay, there you go. So I think this is the last one before we fight. Overlord, yeah, this is the last one. So guys, for those asking, why am I losing my HP? Is if you like this is there's a force field here, right? There's a field here. If you step outside, you will lose HP. Yes. When Overlord spawns. Even if he's not eating you. So guys, as you can see here, Overlord will be so scared about us because we're so strong that Overlord will not move. Yeah. Check it out, guys. He knows we're, we're too good for him. Okay? So we're just gonna defeat all these mobs. The moment that he saw me defeat these mobs, he will try to run outside of the demo. See that, guys? He's trying to run. <laughs> Now he's not moving, he's too scared. I'm gonna punch him to death. See that? For those who've been commenting, defeat Beast King, Broly, Kurama, Beast Titan with just punches or sword, guys, here we are. We're gonna defeat the chapter 2 boss with just punches. See that, guys? <laughs> 32 damage, we're using Kurama Cloak and Asta. I think that's the strongest way to buff your punches. 32 guys. Okay, so we're defeating him. We're defeating him. But Gamer Nom, there's a question here. Is it true that Overlord got scared? 
I just want to run. No, guys, there's a trick there. We're just gonna defeat this first. There you go. One, two, plus three. Oh, my punches. One. Okay. So we're defeating him slowly. But, guys, I'm gonna resolve a more bigger problem than defeating Overlord. See that, guys? You've completed the quest, right? Meaning. The Rengoku quest, we've already finished it, teleporting back, okay, so we are gonna be teleporting back to Dimension 1, right, in the public server. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. For those who experience it, yes, it says quest completed, right, but when I checked it, check it out guys, I haven't defeated Overlord yet. So here is a trick, to finish the quest. Okay, so we're back again with Overlord. Check this out, guys. Four, 454 damage. That's the strongest one that you can do using Moon Style. Okay, you have completed a quest again. Guys, leave the game the moment that appears. Okay, leave the game. Leave, leave, leave. Okay? And then when you log in back in the game, okay, you play it, guys. If you hear my mother in the background, just don't mind. <laughs> Because she really speaks loud. Okay, so here you go, the quest. There you go, guys. You've completed it. That's the way to finish it. You need to leave the game the moment it appears. So there you go. Wow, you've actually pulled it off. Blah, blah, blah. It will ask you to then go to the Drove Knight. Yeah, Drove Knight. Okay. Luckily, there are no bugs here. Great. And then talk to the Dimension Heart 2 just beside Drove Knight. And there you go. Thanks a lot. You've finished it. Okay guys, so finally, we will be able to get the badge, right? Badge chapter 2. Okay, so I, I think so far, there's only 500 players who finish it. There you go, badge awarded! Alright. Okay, so here is the reward. Where's that reward? There you go. Okay, there you go. Cool. The villain sword. Really looks cool, guys, to be honest. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that will be it for this video. Just joking, guys. Gamer Nom, how did you stun Overlord? Guys, check this out. The moment you fight Overlord, right? Make him use a skill. Okay, make him use a skill. There you go. Guys, I, I wanted to post this yesterday, but I tried to unlock all the powers first. But I haven't unlocked Hellflame, so... Oh, let's not talk about that. Guys, check this out. Find this area, guys. This area, this too. Check this out, this two purple thing, and go straight. Okay, you will fall down. Make sure he's following you. That's the trick. Make sure he's following you. So you will die once, but, but, after dying once, okay, you can go back to him. There you go. Okay. Make sure to equip your fighting uh, specials, etc. Because the mobs, aside from Overlord, will still fight you. There you go, there's Overlord. <laughs> okay, so defeat them and then defeat Overlord. And that's it, guys. Okay, so I hope that you unlock all the powers. I will be unlocking all the powers. Again, guys, I didn't defeat Korama, this King, Broly with punches. But this, the final boss of, of Chapter 2, guys, only punches. We smashed it. Okay. So, I will be unlocking the Hellflame, and then, guys, I've already unlocked all Akaza, uh, the demon art, powers. I think I'll be posting it later, okay? Maybe, uh, seven hours from now. I'll just rest and edit, and see you later, guys, okay? So, again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is Gamer Gnome, is Smashing Overlord. Gamer Gnome out.